And we're back, and we're going to go into boulders. Now, it's the first level that you come across, which is um, a running level. So, yeah, you, if there's any crates within the movement of the boulders, don't miss them. Like with other boulder levels in like Crash 2, Crash 3, and uh, all the other ones, you don't want to keep moving. However, though, that aside, this boulder, unlike the other ones, can easily catch you. If you dawdle too much or jump too much. Because obviously Crash slows up a lot by jumping. This, day, this game does compensate it a little bit, but if you do it like randomly, yeah, you're going to get crushed. I mean, it's catching up with me right now. God, I made it. It's one of these sm very small levels. <clears throat> Which can be very easily messed up if you don't know how you're doing. Follow the worker for this one, and you should be fine. But for, there is a couple of boxes that you need to get. One of them is on the romper trail, one of them is not. So you got to be careful of that. Here, yeah, crap, it's right behind me. Damn it! <laughs> no! Uh, it always catches you out. But that's what I mean about the boulder just coming out of nowhere and killing you. It's just like... You have to, like, not mess up your jumps, you have to m not mess up your timing, you have to be on the right path at all times. You, have you just have to do it right. And now uh, I've lost all my Akus, it's right behind me again, I'm gonna get crushed. Come on, I'm almost there, almost there, like, yeah. yeah, well. If you die, and or if you don't get enough crash, you just get the whew, like you've just got it, which sucks. However, though, since this video is quite short, I'm just going to go back in and do it. I'm going to show it on screen, mainly because, yeah, I don't want videos to be overly short. I mean, the, the later levels will be a lot longer. And there'll be a higher chance of me dying, so the video will naturally be longer. However, though, it these smaller level, these like first island levels, they're like really, really small. They're like really, really quick. They're just, to, they're just like to get you used to the game. So yeah, you don't really want to get screwed by them. And also, I might as well just get them on, get them out of the way. Don't want to have to come back towards the end of the game and get them. Because it just takes too long. But anyway. So we're back to the point where I messed up. So it's uh, it's nice to think of I'm not going to do it again. Ah, I messed this up a thing. We'll see. We'll see coming to the end of this tunnel. Does this one likes to catch up? Yeah, I'm going to get caught here. I know I'm going to get caught, because, because I moved too far right at the um for that first box, which is annoying. Anyway, if you do mess up, you can press start select to attend to that many times. You don't have to, like, you know, go through a select menu system. There is no other menu system for it. You have to quit the game in order to change sound settings, which is how to make sure mine is totally perfect, which is default. Personally, I just stick with default with sound settings, I don't, I'm not picky about it. Especially when I'm recording this aside. Yeah, I'm using Turtle Beach, so it's not like I'm going to be caring about it. I can change my own at any time. So it, it kind of gets rid of the concept of the game's music system. Anyway, let's not mess this one up, Crash. Let's go. Imperative not to move too much on this section. You move too much, you get caught. I think I've got it. But we'll see. Yes, got it. Thank God. 
So that's my second gem of the game. Now there was no tornado in this um, level for obvious reasons. And the level is short as hell. But anyway, now that we got that gym, time for the next level, which is upstream, which we're going to be covering in the next video.